Welcome to Sports Talk. Let's let the talk begin. All right, this video is NBA Coach of the Year talk. All right, so just released Mike Brown wins NBA Coach of the Year. Um, not mad at it, to be perfectly honest. Even though he wasn't my coach of the, he wasn't my choice of Coach of the Year, he still deserves it. You can't take anything away from what he led the Cavs to. They won 66 games, which was the best record in the NBA. And also, that's a 21-game improvement over from last year. They only won 45 last year. So a 21-game improvement is a hell of an improvement for a coach, for a team, period. And he led, he coached the team to 66 wins. You can't really take anything away from that. There are just some other coaches that I thought did a superior job that I thought probably should have got it because they don't have a superior player like LeBron James. So, like Vinny Del Negro, I thought Vinny Del Negro really stood a chance at getting it because last year the Bulls won 33 games. This year they won, I believe, 41 or so to get into the playoffs. I mean, it's not – it's but you got to think about it, it's not a 21-game improvement. It wasn't that big of a improvement as Cleveland, so that's why I'm not mad at Vinny Del Negro not getting it. Another one I thought was Nate McMillan because he took a young Portland team and he has them fourth in the West. So he had them winning 54 games after they only won 41, I believe, last year. So, like I said, still not that big of an improvement, but in the West it's much difficult. It's a more difficult job than coaching in the East. So I thought Nick McMillan also stood a chance. And then Eric Spolstra. If you're gonna congratulate, if you're gonna congratulate a guy with a superior player and a large win difference from last year, you gotta go with Eric Spolstra, a rookie, a rookie coach. And the Heat have won 28 more games than they did last year. Yes, a large part is due to, that, due to Dwayne Wade, but he still had to coach that team, and the 28 win difference is bananas. Also, um, another coach that probably should have got probably got some votes was uh, Steve Van Gundy. His win difference wasn't big at all, to be perfectly honest. Orlando won 52 last year and they won 59 this year, but he their defense got better this year. And he was able to bring in a new player and teach him the system really quickly and kept his team rolling when they lost him and Nelson. So I think Van, I thought Van Gundy did a good job as well this year. But like I said, Mike Brown, deserve, he deserves it. 21-game improvement. Can't take anything away from him. Can't wait to hear what the rest, <clears throat> what the rest of the awards are coming up. So Mike Brown, congratulations. Coach of the year. I mean, you earned it. 21 game improvement, 66 wins. You earned it. All right. TrueSportsTalk.com. If you haven't been there, go there right now. We're 26 states deep. I'm trying to get through every state in the United States. And then I'm even trying to go global. So if you haven't been there, please go to TrueSportsTalk.com and let me know what you want to hear about. All right. I'm done.